What's up, everybody? It's Nick Atkin here. I'm with Sports Kita MMA for One Fight Night 19. I'm with the man who's going to headline the show on Saturday morning at Lumpini Stadium. It is the general Jonathan Haggerty, the two-sport champ, bantamweight Muay Thai and kickboxing king. It's the Muay Thai belt you're defending this time. First defense up against Felipe Loba. How are you feeling going into it? Uh, we're feeling confident, like always. You know, we've got 100% in training camp, so uh, we've left no stone unturned. There's a bit of animosity there, so it makes it more exciting. So it um, gives us more of an, more of an uh, time to go in there and put on a great performance. Yeah, you told me after you won the belt, Lobo, he doesn't want it. Mm -hmm. And then you had that little bit of uh, aggro in the ring after you beat Andrade. A bit of bad blood here, isn't it? I like it. Um, I could say a little bit of bad blood, but he clearly does want it. So that's it. we're here now, and uh, the weekend is um, just around the corner, so... I'm excited for it. Now, I heard this fight was targeted for December, and um, they offered it to you to fill in that main event, but you were already, I think you were going to Australia doing mm -hmm. some seminars. How close was it to coming to fruition then? Um, you know, I was so close to taking the fight, but obviously I had um, obligations that I had to do, so um, it didn't get done. But we're here now, that's the main thing, and uh, we're 100% ready, and we're ready. And I also heard they were trying to get you and Akimoto together in Tokyo. Is mm -hmm. that true? Yeah, so that'll be uh, probably next. That'll probably now. I want to defend my kickboxing belt. So um, once I beat Lobo, um, Akimoto is. I like the confidence once I beat Lobo. Yeah. You are a very confident man. You've always called your shots. You said you were going to finish Nongo. You said you were going to finish Andrade. Are you going to finish Lobo? What do you think? <laughs> I have to be impartial, Jonathan. <laughs> He's going to get stopped. Yeah. It's going to be a great fight, you know, it's a great opposition. Um, there's a lot of things we've got to look out for in these game plans and that, but we're, we're confident we're going to get the stoppage, like always. And you said Akimoto's next. Yeah, when do you want to do that one? Um, not too fast, really. Maybe have a few months off or something because I've been quite active. Um, anytime, anytime. I'm not fast. <laughs> yeah, you've been out here for a while, I think, in Koh Samui, and obviously a bit of time in Australia. Are you heading back to the UK finally after this one? Yes, yeah, so I've been in Thailand now for about eight months, coming up to eight months, and um, I think after this fight, I'm going to head back to the UK, see some family, some friends, and um, regroup, and then come back out to Thailand and carry on my uh, my dream. Yeah, there is the the spectre of another man looming large in this division, very large, Nico Carrillo, who beat Nong -O in December but he's just had hand surgery. Are you expecting he, him to be your next Muay Thai challenger eventually down the road? Um, I'm not too fussed, really. Like you said, he's got a hand injury, so maybe he'll have to wait a few fights. But um, the bigger they are, they are, they fall. You should know that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it'll be an exciting fight. I'm um, excited for it when it does get matched up. So let's go. A lot of people say he's the favourite there. Does that make you feel angry, frustrated, upset? Not fast. You know, I've been the underdog my whole life, and look where I'm at. So, um, I wouldn't say I'm the underdog. No, I wouldn't say I'm the underdog. Is it strange, yeah, that switching that mentality from underdog to now everyone kind of knows you're the real deal, but what's it been like? What do you prefer, being the underdog or the, the kingpin? Um, it's, it's, it's both good, but um, I didn't mind being the underdog and I don't mind being on top. It's great to be on top, so um, we'll take being on top best. And does that one... You and Carrillo, does that have to happen in the UK? Yeah, I feel like that would be a, a great, great place for it to happen, for sure. And Akimoto, would that have to be Tokyo? <laughs> or is it on your terms? You can come over to my terms. Yeah. <laughs> come to the UK. <laughs> I think that's right. Obviously, your, your brother's here as well, Freddie. Uh, he had great debut win. Uh, I know you're proud, but uh, just put it into words what it means to see that. Yeah, no, it was um, it was a dream come true of mine, if I'm totally honest. Um, my younger brother, growing up, he's been watching me fulfil my dreams. And for him to do it for himself, it was good. You know, I couldn't talk before the fight. I was so nervous. But um, he got the job done, and I'm very proud of him. And I, I do believe he could hold the one championship world title. Well, that would be pretty cool. Brothers, both with belts. Uh, did, your, did your parents dream of that? Um... I'm not too sure. I don't <laughs> think they thought this would turn out like this, but we're here. Representing Old Kent Road. That's it, mate, Old Kent. <laughs> I, li I lived there one for one year, actually, uh, at uni, yeah, next to the Tesco. Enjoy it there? Yeah. Uh, no? Not too bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it is your home. I know Freddie's a Millwall fan, I think. Mm-hmm. What about you? Yeah, I'm a Mill fan as well. I'm a Mill fan. How are they going this year? I haven't actually seen um, <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm too focused on the career at the moment, the fighting career. But um, I do go and watch them a few times. So, yeah. All right. Well, look, back to the fight quickly. Tell the fans what's going to happen. Saturday, one fight night, 19. Saturday, you can expect fireworks. Um, me and Felipe are going to come middle of the ring. We're going to uh, meet fire with fire. And you can expect a stoppage, a knockout. It's going to be an explosive fight. So uh, let's go. And then are you going to get that MMA belt? <laughs> For sure. I want his training partner again. <laughs> Andrade, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Jonathan Haggerty, Thank we'll you. see you tomorrow at the weigh-ins. Good luck, sir. Thank you.